Welcome to With the Novaks. When discovering the exciting news that our family is growing, we immediately knew one of the ways we wanted to celebrate was with a baby moon. Kauai is the oldest of the eight main islands in Hawaii. Because of this, the land has accumulated over 250 diverse and unique plant species and acquired its fitting name, the Garden Isle. This detail alone definitely influenced our choice. It is no mystery why this island was chosen to film Jurassic Park. While there isn't as much to do in the way of shopping and nightlife as the other islands, this wasn't a concern for us as we were focused on exploring nature. We decided to take our baby moon at two months pregnant in order to fully adventure and hike some more strenuous trails without the pregnancy struggles that go hand in hand with being further along. This landed us in Kauai in January, which is typically during Hawaii's wettest season, November through February. Thankfully, we experienced perfect weather with nothing but sun, along with some awesome whale sightings. We are in Kauai for nine days exploring the island from the north shore to the south shore from the east side to the west side. Our nine days are jam-packed full of excursions. We've got some hiking, some kayaking, some whale watching. What else? Yeah. I know what um, you're excited about. Yeah. I'm, what am I excited about? The doors off helicopter. I am excited about that. Along the <laughs> Nepali coast. Right now we're going to go to our Airbnb and check in and go get some dinner. I have to say our hosts are really awesome. Look at what they left us. Really nice Kauai breakfast blend fitting because obviously we're in Kauai. And look at this cute little fruit platter. Adorable, that's so sweet. Some Kauai cookies. Love that, very thoughtful. Don't spill their base. We ran to the grocery store before eating so that we have some snacks to hold us over before we go hiking and go out and do our excursion. So we got some sandwich stuff, breakfast, some Portuguese sausage, eggs obviously, you can't have breakfast without eggs. And then a few kind of fun things, some bubble tea. Obviously need our candy to hold over the sweet tooth. Oh, and then these guys look really cool too. These. Don't know what that is, but had to get some to try it. But yeah, so we won't go hungry when we're not out perusing the restaurants in Kauai.
Today is our first day in Kauai and today we're going to go down to the South Shore um, to check out Kaloa um, and Old Kaloa Town and some areas around there as well as Poipu. It's kind of a laid back day for us today. Um, we made sure to kind of leave this day a little bit open since we knew we would be so jet lagged right, after yeah. getting in. So we're kind of just cruising around grabbing some desserts at the bakery that are known here to local Hawaii and Hawaii itself. Of course, we'll share those with you later. I'm going to do maybe some shopping. Yeah, and then towards the end of the day, we're going to head a little west and go to uh, Spouting Horn as well as Allerton Gardens, which is looks really beautiful. One of the places they shot part of Jurassic Park at. Um, so yeah, they have those really pretty all winding trees and beautiful roots. So mm -hmm. really looking forward to that. Located about three miles from the airport, Kauai Bakery and Coffee is a great place to stop on the go to grab some Portuguese-style donuts called malasadas. The traditional malasada is ungarnished, but in Hawaii they can be found with a variety of fillings such as ube, lilikoi, or custard. Yum. Some coffee, some malasadas, from Eden coffee, and yep, and grab then some, some sushi. So, from yeah. Big Monster. Old Kaloa Town, which was Hawaii's first sugar mill, now resides as a quaint village, housing shops, restaurants, and food trucks. Though the buildings have been refurbished, it remains unique to a sugar plantation town in the Hawaiian Islands. The food trucks look like it would be a lot of fun at dusk. We drove by later on and all the string lights were lit up with a more lively, bustling feel in the area. So we just checked out Kaloa Village as well as old Kaloa Town. Uh, so there's a, some cute shops through there and some yeah. places to eat and get some sweets. Yeah, some ice cream, some shaved ice, their famous shaved ice. Got a cool kawaii tie-dye mm -hmm. souvenir t-shirt and a retro sticker, so yeah, I feel complete. We didn't realize how common chickens were on this island, so there's a lot of chicken type t-shirts and... Some chicken memorabilia. But yeah, now we're on our way to Spouting Horn and Allerton Gardens. once much bigger until it was TNT'd by a sugar plantation manager because the saltwater spray was damaging a portion of their crop. During the time we went at low tide, which was early afternoon, we unfortunately didn't see it reach its potential height of 50 feet at high tide. Scotting horn was okay. We would definitely recommend going around the peak time. 1.30 to 2.30, I think. Got yeah. there a little early. It was slightly underwhelming. Obviously, still worth checking out just to see all Definitely. of the sights to see in Kauai, but go during those hours. Our tip to you. So we just got to Allerton Gardens and apparently you have to make a reservation even for the self-guided tour. Which we originally planned on doing, right. but we thought if they're offering self-guided then we can probably just show up, but that's mm -hmm. not the case. So So we're going to come back later this week and check it out. Hopefully. <laughs> but until then we're just going to kind of head around South Shore and see what else there is out there. Impromptu plan making time. Definitely. <laughs>
down to Heritage Trail. Uh, the owner of Eden Coffee recommended we come check it out. And since we didn't make reservations for Allerton Garden, we figured we'd just come see what it's all about. It was so worth it, obviously. Look at the view. And there are views like this everywhere across the right. trail. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty moderate, really not difficult. And we got a pretty good stretch within an hour with the most beautiful lookout. Stay at Kiyoki's. We were not disappointed after ordering the delicious panko and mac nut mahi mahi, followed by the very tasty and ever popular dessert. Both dishes were my favorite from the entire trip. The original hula pie is a popular Kiyoki's dessert that tastes very similar to an Oreo ice cream cake that's covered in fudge. We are headed to Waimea Canyon for our hike that we are pretty excited about. There we are. We are hoping that it is pretty dry. We have seen some reviews that it is very wet, but we are getting out of here pretty early, hoping to get it wrapped quickly so we can get to the beach. racing the sun along the Waimea Canyon to get to the Awa Awa Pui Trail. The bright coral sunrise couldn't have been timed more perfectly. What a beautiful morning trek to get to our destination. So we're about a mile in, and what's your take so far? It's good. It's mostly downhill, so we've got quite a trek back up on the way back. <laughs> yeah. So we just passed the one mile marker, so two more miles to go. It's muddy, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, a little slick here and there, but uh, nothing. Luckily, it hasn't rained. Right. Yeah, so I'm sure after a rainy day, it's probably a lot more slippery. And we've read online on all trails that it's not recommended 
to hike if it's if it's too wet so we lucked out with some nice weather yeah it's beautiful it is a little bit chilly when you first get out of the car but within probably five to ten minutes of walking i'd say i warmed up i didn't notice it right yeah we both have light jackets on as you can see oh, look. and it's she just rat. saw a little rat i love rats i know that's really weird <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. A little uh, rat had to cross the road, so... We had a rat intermission. <laughs> but yeah, we're wearing some light jackets and it feels good out here. Um, got a little burnt yesterday at Heritage Trail, <laughs> so I'll probably keep mine on the for, for most of the day. <laughs> so we still have seven days left, uh, so I definitely don't want to be a lobster on day two. Um, but yeah, let's uh, do oh, the yeah. rest of this. Speaking of which, most of this trail is covered if you are worried about that. So. Yeah, very shady. Lucky him. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, let's see the rest of this trail. See you at the top. So we made it here to the end of the trail. We are really hungry, um, but we are going to eat these sandwiches and then go out over there to the peak area. I'm trying to muster up the courage to go out on that ledge, so. Yeah, it's really, first. <laughs> really narrow and no room for error for the most part. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. You got this. More than halfway already. Pui Trail, you guys gotta check it out. It's it's worth the hike. It's not even a bad hike, especially on a dry day. Um, and the view is incredible. Just two thumbs up. Yeah, remarkable. Hiking on the Nepali coast is a must when visiting Kauai. No photo or video can do justice for how grand these cliffs truly are. You feel like you're on top of the world. It had us in awe of how mind-blowing God's creations are.
So about 15 minutes after we got done shooting on the lookout, the clouds started to roll in. Got there just in time. Um, so it's probably not like this every day, but on a day like today, it was definitely worth getting here early to check it out before the clouds rolled in. With it being a breeze on the way to the Vista Point, downhill the entire way, keep in mind you unfortunately can't say the same about the challenging three mile uphill journey back. Even at just two months pregnant, I definitely needed to take a few stops on the way back up so as to not overdo it. We made it. Delicious. We just wrapped our hike and it was indeed exhausting on the way back, but it was <laughs> worth every step of the way. It really was. So now that we are tired and sweaty, we think that it is very fitting that we are headed to Palihale State Park. There is a really beautiful beach there that's a little bit off the beaten path. Mm -hmm which is why we actually got this Jeep, so we could get there okay to check it out. But it has some really beautiful, gorgeous cliffs surrounding it, and it looks pretty secluded. So we're heading that way to get some R&R &R and check it out. Beach is a gorgeous, fairly remote beach that can only be accessed by driving down an old cane hauling road. Based on our experience, we would recommend a four wheel drive. Can I pick a beautiful lady up? If you're looking for long walks on the beach, this 17 mile stretch of sand sitting at the end of the Nepali coast makes Polahale the longest beach in all of Hawaii. Though we visited in the early afternoon, this is a great spot to catch a beautiful sunset. brought us these bad boys which we're very excited to eat we will let you know how they are so, what is it passion fruit Lilico? passion fruit yeah we forgot to let you know that the pies were delicious. If you enjoy a nice airy passion fruit taste you can't go wrong with any of the lily koi desserts in Hawaii so it's day three and today we are doing what? Yeah, so going to kayak up the river and see a waterfall at the end. And then what are we doing later? Helicopter tour. Like he's been anxiously <laughs> yes, waiting. I cannot wait. We are currently walking through the trail after some kayaking and we're about to see this waterfall. Oh yeah! <laughs> Shama birds are the song birds of the islands here. They have a bunch of different whistles and clicks and calls and they'll call out to you and mimic you and call back. She's the female version. As you can see, she's kind of grayish on her back or the pale orange belly. We're gonna see her brother, who's her counterpart, which is gonna be, he's like kind of bluish on his back with a bright orange belly uh, rather than a pale orange belly. Look that. So yeah, right after the hatchlings hatch and after they raise them, he'll go through a process. Well, the thing is, he's such a good dad, right? He'll start to kind of starve himself of food. He'll deprive himself of food because he's so busy feeding his little babies. He'll get real skinny. And then after the babies leave the nesting area, he'll go through a process that's called molting. 
Malting is a process of these little birds taking all the feathers on their body, shedding them off, and then growing new feathers. This day was a lot of fun getting out in nature and learning quite a bit about the Wailua River and the areas that surround it. Our tour guide was so knowledgeable about the vegetation, wildlife, and history pertaining to that area. However, we did wish we could meander on our own a bit more on the water and in the jungle. We'd likely go out by ourselves next time. We are just wrapping our kayak tour on the Wailua River and we are actually finished pretty early so we're going to have some lunch. yeah it's time to eat and rest up a little bit get out of these wet clothes and then head to the choppa and see the nepali coast which this guy's really excited about i am i can't wait <laughs> Doors off. he's probably exhausted <laughs> he's doing a lot of the work back there <laughs> I feel like being up in the front is nothing. <laughs> Hey, we're on our way to Mauna Loa helicopter tours um, by the airport and we're taking the photography flight which is specific to photography for those who want to get really great photos. Uh, this tour they actually let you go up closer to the destinations you pick. We are going to Mauna Waiapuna Falls. I think that that is the classic fall from from Jurassic Park, so we're looking yes. forward to seeing that. We're gonna check out, I think, Waimea Canyon again from the chopper view, and then of course go along the Nepali coast, which we're really looking forward to. The weather is nice today, so we're really hoping we're gonna have a great clear view. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to it.
So we just finished the Mauna Loa tour, uh, where we pretty much went around the entire island in an hour, which was uh, a lot of fun. Um, so fun. If you do any helicopter tour, definitely do doors off, because it's, it's, you can see below you, up high, all around. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, and Stefan, the pilot, was so incredible. He gave us a ton of additional information that we had no idea about, obviously. We don't right. know a ton about Hawaii, but it was really cool to find out a few uh, new stories, sacred areas, old craters from erupted volcanoes, no longer active anymore. But actually, that area that we saw was one of my favorite. It was Waialeale Crater. And it was a very emotional, moving experience. It was, as well as Nepali Coast. I mean, everyone's seen photos of that that coastline at this point, but it's just remarkable. Um, had to put the camera down for a little bit and just take it all in. So far, our favorite excursion that we've Yes, done. definitely. We want to do it again. We will. <laughs> We're going to come back, find Stefan, and do this again. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where the water's wet? kind of chill and grab some takeout some grub. and some sit Korean, on the beach. Some Korean barbecue from yeah. a place across the street. Yeah, so we're going to eat here on this really cool log. We got over the water and It is day four and we are checking out from our first Airbnb in Kapa'a on the east shore. We've thoroughly enjoyed our stay in exploring the east side, but now it's time to check out Hanalei and head up to the north shore. While doing some shopping, we saw a card that reminded us of Layla. Since we've been missing her after several days in Kauai, we decided to let her know we were thinking of her. turmeric the food truck that we were planning for later on today so we thought <laughs> let's take advantage mm -hmm. we got a few things these two drinks are so good this is the guava nectar Here's and the hibiscus lemonade this one is incredible my personal favorite but they're both delicious you yeah. can't go wrong with either one this looks so good yum
so we just checked out Hanalei, uh, which was a cool little town. Um, our favorite so far since we've been in uh, Kauai. And we did some shopping, got some souvenirs for the family. A little too much shopping. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, as well as we ate a turmeric, which you saw earlier. And we got what we thought was shaved ice at Wishing Well. <laughs> Uh, but Oops. we ordered from the wrong menu, so we got ice cream instead. We got the berry tart, uh, which was good. It had fruity pebbles and... And lilikoi syrup, which made it a little bit tart, but it was still good. Mm -hmm. But this will just give us an excuse to find another shaved ice spot. Which yeah. he's more than happy to do. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we made our way over to where our second Airbnb is at. So we're kind of just waiting to check in at this point. Anxiously um, awaiting. Yeah. And we just drove by a cave, uh, Manini Hollow Dry Cave, which a lot of people were kind of parking at and going in. Uh, looked pretty cool from the road. So we'll have to check that out at some point while we're here. Uh, and yeah. yeah. So now we're at Haina, Haina. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but the beach here is gorgeous. There are it maybe is. two or three people on it. So we lucked out having this right next to our Airbnb. And we also have Tunnels Beach right next to this one, which we've already had several people recommend as their favorite. So right. we have a good setup here in this area. Manini Hollow Tri Cave, and we're the only ones in the cave right now, which is pretty cool. Um, it's really cool in here, worth a quick stop. Um, very, uh, very deep. It's probably, what would you guess, like a few hundred feet deep? Mm -hmm. It's very ominous in here. Yeah, very quiet besides the traffic driving by <laughs> outside, but uh, pretty cool. There's some, even some drawings and stuff on the, in the back walls. Uh, some graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> into our Airbnb and then we quickly ran back into uh, Hanalei where we had reservations at Ama um, restaurant uh, which has a pretty sweet view of the uh, mountains in the distance. Yeah we'll show it to you here in a second. We got the perfect seat at the bar looking out over all the beautiful greenery. Um, definitely make a reservation. It's very very busy here their sister restaurant, Barracuda, you cannot make a reservation. So that's one of the perks about coming here, but we will show you our food here shortly. It looks like it's some really great Asian fusion. Mm -hmm. I'm personally eyeballing some ramen. So. Same. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. Can't wait to chow down. Ryan's is gorgeous. 
Though the views at this restaurant are as gorgeous as the food itself, we felt the ramen lacked a little flavor which was unfortunate given the price. With that being said, the environment alone is enough to want to go back and try another dish. So it's day five and this morning we woke up in our new Airbnb and the coffee pot had a hole in it. So can't make coffee. So I came out here to uh, Nepali Coast Art Gallery and Coffee House. Um, it's pretty much the only coffee place within this little area here. So gonna get some coffee and go back and get ready for our day. So we are on our way to a dinner sunset sailing adventure uh, through Captain Andy's, uh, located on the south shore. And our Airbnb is on the north shore. So it's about an hour and 45 minute drive. And, all... and we left with exactly that much time. <laughs> we did. And there's only two lane roads throughout the island. so. If you get stuck behind a more relaxed driver, uh, like you might did. might be a little late. So make sure you uh, spare a few extra minutes if you're traveling a little bit of distance.
more sugar than I want first thing in the morning, but here you go. It's day six and I went to Holy Grail Donuts to get my lovely wife and I some donuts this morning and it is a beautiful sunrise out here. Your holy donuts have arrived. We were hoping to get photos of us in front of the Nepali coast with this Aloha onesie to reveal we are expecting. But since we weren't able to sail there yesterday because of the rough conditions, we thought this beach was a great alternative. So after checking out Kilauea Lighthouse, which had amazing 180 degree panoramic views and a number of birds, like the uh, red, red footed booby. And um, the albatross, there were a ton of albatross right. out there, which is a pretty rare bird. So those were cool to see. But yeah, after that, we headed to Kalapea Beach, also known as Secret Beach, which you can see behind us, really secluded. The waves are intense. The surf again is really unusually high these past two days, so we couldn't get in the water, but the view while we sat on the beach watching these incredibly wondrous waves right. was well worth it. Definitely. Wow, I've never seen waves that high in my life. But we can see why yesterday Captain Andes didn't want to go on the North yeah. Shore to see Nepali Coast. As bummed as we were, yeah. uh, they're just looking out for everyone's safety. So yeah. these waves are not to be messed with. It and makes sense now. After the beach, it was only fitting to get a couple refreshing acai bowls from Kalalea Juice Hail. The original was so refreshing, probably one of my favorite things we ate in Kauai. I did add coconut meat, papaya, and goji berries to mine to beef it up a bit and did not regret it. The King Kong was delicious and surprisingly light for the amount of food it was. After refueling, we venture back to Kilauea to get some coffee at Java Kai Bar and do some shopping, later heading back to Hanalei for dinner. It is now time for dinner after the beach. We were very hungry. Post beach, we actually ended up going to Pono Center, walked around, bought some goodies, and went to Java Kai Coffee, which was very good. I got one called 
the shark bite, which was raspberry with an extra shot, a raspberry latte. Definitely recommend, it was great. Yeah, now we're in Hanalei and we just stopped to get some groceries at Big Save Market and we got some dinner at Francesca's Fresh Tex Mex, Mex Cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii Coffee has a couple different paid tours you can book, or you can come and walk their self-guided tour for free, which is what we did. It is day seven and we took a trip down to the South Shore, kind of more west on the west side of the South Shore to check out the largest coffee farm in the United States, which is Kauai Coffee. It's 3,000 acres, which is really big for a coffee yeah. farm. And over 4 million coffee trees, which is crazy. It is. Also, if you want to try out their coffee while you tour, they have some really good blended drinks, hot drinks, iced, and then a ton of different snacks like carrot cake, cookies, lemon bars. So they have a good setup in there. Cute little spot. Definitely a cool little spot to come down and check out if you have some time to kill and uh, trying to think of something different to do. Interesting side note, each of the four million coffee trees only produces about one pound of coffee per year. big blob over to the right on Koibu Beach and saw a few ropes marked off around it so I just walked up to check it out and it turns out that it's a resting Hawaiian monk seal. He is knocked out and enjoying the sun. It's really cute. Apparently he comes back often because it says do not touch the Hawaiian monk seal so that's that's his place, his sacred sleeping grounds. Hot 
dogs are one of my favorite foods ever in frozen bread. <laughs> but of course we had to try the Hawaiian style puka dogs. Kauai is special, the Waimea Canyon, and the coconut beach. The Kauai has mango salsa, coconut has coconut, and the Waimea has banana salsa. So we will let you know what we think. And we got two fresh lemonades. Nice. So just finished eating our puka dogs and all three were really delicious. Uh, my favorite was the coconut beach, which was the one I ordered for myself. And what was my your favorite, favorite was Kauai Special number one, Waimea Canyon two, and coconut third. But in all honesty, I thoroughly enjoyed every single one. Yeah, you can't go wrong with any of them. I Definitely. wish we could try all of them. And also get some of that fresh lemonade. It's really good. Very. We good. got half sugar, uh, but it was good. But maybe get the full sugar and really enjoy it. <laughs> so, yeah, overall. Ten out of ten. It might be my favorite meal we've had here. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> It's my second favorite I've had since we've been here. So, hey. Second to the Mahi Mahi we had at Kiyoki's Paradise. Yep. That meal was insane, by the way. I don't know if we've mentioned it, but go to Kiyoki's Paradise. So we are back at Allerton Gardens after a week. Uh, we actually booked a tour this time and cool tip, uh, try and book it on Fridays because they don't have the regular tours going into Allerton Gardens. So it's only the sunset dinner. Um, and we lucked out tonight. Usually there's around 20 to 24 people coming, but apparently there's only gonna be eight. So very small, intimate setting. Um, more likely to have the garden to ourselves, which will be a lot of fun. So we're waiting to take the shuttle down to the gardens now. You guys want to learn a couple words today? Sure. Yeah? Okay, I use it a lot, so I'm going to teach you guys these words. Ping lao. Ping lao. Perfect. That means dirty and no good. <laughs> <laughs> Right there is nice but real evasive. But here we go, we're gonna squeeze on through some nice Chinese bannions right here. And these are known as strangler feet. Now, oh, the sun is kind of blazing right now. It's kind of hard to see it, guys, but if you look all the way across to the opposite side of the valley. Pause here, it's because we just got into the Allerton Garden.
The largest citrus fruit, pomelo, is an ancestor of the grapefruit. This fruit is packed with a sweet citrus taste. I really enjoyed it. Guilty. Nice. Yeah, you'll sprinkle that really salted good. pomelo, uh -huh. leave it on any fruit. These are Morton Bay fig trees. They likely look familiar to you if you've seen the 1993 classic Jurassic Park. These magnificent roots can grow up to six to eight feet tall. After an amazing sunset at Allerton Garden, a couple on the tour who lived in Kauai recommended we rush back to Poipu Beach to see the turtles coming out of the water to rest on the land at night. As predicted, there were quite a few.
So today is our eighth day and that's our final full day. We went back to Kilauea, uh, which is where that lighthouse was. We went to a few days ago to do a little shopping and grab some lunch and some sweets. Yeah, we went to a spot called Kilauea Pizza and Bakery. They had some calzones, some paninis, pizza, of course, and some treats. We ended up getting a panini that was insane. You should go check it out and then checked off a few remaining desserts that we wanted to try while we're here. There is an ube mochi, some more malasadas, a cream puff, a lilikoi lemon bar. And then our last stop is for dessert, Jojo's. Some, yeah, Jojo's for some shaved ice. Yeah, our guide yesterday at Allerton said it's the best here in Kauai, so we trust him. Then we're heading to Tunnels Beach to get some relax, relaxation in. If you're planning to visit Kauai, remember to respect the nature by staying on official roads, trails, and paths in order to preserve the rare species of lush foliage that call this island home. It's also important to respect the privacy of the locals by not venturing off into private neighborhoods and natural areas. Kauai has become busier over the years due to increased tourism. Try to help maintain the peaceful, secluded feel that Kauai has to offer. So we just saw our final sunset of the trip on day eight and it's a bittersweet moment. We don't want to go home and uh, we're here on Tunnels Beach enjoying our, our last little bit of time. Unfortunately, we are on our last day and we are checking out a few last stops in Kapa'a, grabbing some grub from a local Thai food truck mm -hmm. um, and enjoying a little bit of walking around and shopping before we head out. Before we headed to the airport, we figured we'd take a quick trip to Wailua Falls. Online you see a lot of great photos and video of the falls, but you aren't allowed to fly drones in the area without special permission. You also can't hike to the bottom of the falls anymore, as the state of Hawaii is fining people who do. So you really are stuck viewing it from the road above, which leaves little to see. Honestly, it wasn't worth the drive, as you didn't see much and it was very crowded. After nine days, we must say we thoroughly enjoyed our time at this beautiful island. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and we can't wait to share our next one with you soon.